Hello everybody, this is uh, Mike Zero Sugar Gulf Sugar, Mexico Zero Sierra Gulf Sierra, Stuart in Pudsey, West Yorkshire, uh, with a video. I think it's uh, probably one of the first ones I've done, other than the fish, since uh, I had my stroke. But uh, I'm, all, uh, I'm all well, all better. Many thanks for uh, everybody that's uh, worth concerned about my condition. I'm, uh, I'm back to normal, so I'm back on the channel with a new video. This one's going to be slightly different. This is on uh, uh, the digital side uh, without the use of a radio. Yes, that would be cheating in uh, in somebody's eyes, but uh, it's uh, it's a very good backup system to uh, to uh, to use. And uh, I'm talking about a program called Peanut today. Uh, Peanut is a voice over IP app for uh, smartphones and uh, and for uh, Windows, it uh, doesn't work on uh, uh, Apple uh, iPhones, unfortunately. I don't think there's any support for it on uh, the uh, Apple iPad either. But uh, yeah, it certainly works in uh, in the Windows system, and it certainly works on Android phones. So uh, without much further ado, uh, Peanut was created by uh, David PA7 LIM, a Dutch amateur radio uh, buddy and uh, he's done an excellent job with it. It transcodes between uh, uh, lots of modes uh, using an AMBI server. Uh, so uh, yeah, DSTAR users can talk to uh, Fusion users and Fusion users and DSTAR can talk to DMR and uh, probably to P25 and uh, uh, NXD. Um, so if you, uh, if you want to download this software head over to David's website. I'll also put a link in the comments below. Uh, but the web address is www.pa7lim.nl and that will take you to uh, David's website. If you then click on uh, the Peanut tab, uh, the Peanut will, uh, page will come up. As you can see, there's uh, many videos on the page and a lot of information so I suggest everybody reads this page as uh, much as possible. Uh, the peanut app does uh, depend on a CCS ID um, which is available on DMR so if you've used DMR in the past or you've used uh, DSTAR uh, it will uh, it will help aid the uh, installation and effective use of uh, peanut. So uh, let's uh, have a look how we get it all sorted. First of all, um, we're going to download the Windows version of it. If you've got a mobile phone running Android 4 and above, you can go to uh, the uh, playgoogle.com uh, apps site on your phone and download uh, Peanut there. I think if you search for uh, Peanut for Hams, uh, that's the uh, link that you want on the, on the Android phone. Uh, on Windows, it's a simple click. Uh, takes you to the server. Uh, this is where the latest version is. The version I'm using is 2.2.7. And uh, click on that, and it will download it to your uh, computer. Uh, showing folder. And as you can see, uh, I've downloaded it several times uh, over the past uh, couple of months. So uh, right-click on the... On the uh, file, extract it and uh, put it in a folder where you can find it later. And there you have it. Uh, double click on that file. If this window comes up, click on the more info. Uh, it's uh, very safe. The, the, uh, the app has been virus checked both by David and uh, obviously by my system as I download it and click on run anyway. And it'll come up with a setup window. Uh, it'll probably say install peanut. Um, because it's already loaded on my system, uh, it doesn't say that on my screen, but it will do on yours. Uh, I'm going to cancel that because I've got a, already got it installed. And uh, we'll go to the next stage of, uh, of the process. So, so once you've downloaded it and installed it into your computer, uh, you'll have a uh, an icon here that'll say peanut double click on that icon and it'll open uh, this window uh, mine's already set up 
I use this on the uh, CQ UK room, which is uh, that number there, HBL27246. Uh, but uh, as a first time user, uh, you have uh, several steps to do before you uh, uh, get into the setup of the actual software. So uh, we'll go through uh, what you have to do. So uh, if you go uh, back to David's page, uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that uh, you have a CCS ID. And uh, if you uh, look down the software, um, there should be uh, a part on the page where it, uh, where it says um, uh, check call sign. Uh, there it is. It's in access. So uh, that takes you to a check call sign page. I'll put in my call sign. You put in your call sign. M0 Sugar Gold Sugar. And click search. And it says that uh, I'm found on the uh, US Trust date call database. And I'm also found on the uh, DMR ID database. Which is the CCS ID database. If you're not found on either of these two, you must register for a DMR ID uh, or you must register on DSTAR, uh, whichever uh, particular equipment you're using. And uh, uh, that's uh, a fairly simple process. Uh, it doesn't take any time at all. So uh, if you are registered on either of those, uh, you should be able to use Peanut without a problem. So we'll go back to David's page again. Um, and we'll uh, go down to peanut request that's the next thing you have to do and uh, basically uh, you need to put in your name uh, your email address uh, where you can receive emails from david and your ham call don't put slash p or slash m for mobile just put your main uh, station call sign and then you'll also need to upload a copy of your license. Uh, this is how David keeps uh, Peanut secure and, uh, and only for radio hands. Once you've done that, click on submit and uh, uh, you'll get an email back from David uh, in the course of time uh, with a five or six digit uh, code number on it. Uh, that code number is very important, so uh, keep checking your spam folders in case it goes to spam. It shouldn't do, but uh, if you have any problems with registration, uh, I can guarantee that's where uh, the email from David will be. It'll be somewhere in one of your spam folders, so uh, do keep a check. Okay, that's the uh, last part of the thing that we need to do, and uh, we can move on to the program itself. So this is Peanut. And the setup is fairly simple. Uh, as I say, once you get your email from David uh, with your uh, code on, click the setup button. Uh, as you can see, you put your call sign in there and you uh, click on the query and that will bring up your DMR ID. And uh, if you add it on DSTAR as well, uh, US Trust uh, database, query that. And if you found, you're good to go on DSTAR as well. Um, for uh, C4FM, uh, it will require your uh, a DMR ID as well, so uh, make sure you get that. Uh, go to where the code says, it'll be a blank box there. You type in the code that David sent you and uh, how you want to use it. So you go to general. I use mine through a headset, which is plugged into my uh, computer, and it just uses the uh, uh, the mic and the uh, uh, speakers on the headset. So uh, click on sound card. You can click on DVAP if you have a DVAP. Uh, obviously you'll need to fill in this section which has the uh, uh, the serial port for the DVAP and the frequency that the DVAP is transmitting on. Uh, if you're using sound card then uh, obviously you need to uh, scroll down and put in the right information for the sound card and for the microphone. Once you've done that, uh, I uh, ticked the beep button, which uh, basically beeps when uh, when somebody unkeys. Um, I don't tick the always on top because that uh, makes Peanut, this app, 
stay on top of every other window which uh, can get in your way when you're trying to read emails and it'll annoy you eventually uh, I use uh, the PTT the spacebar uh, I have transmit and receive colors of red and green and I log the last heard which is uh, this section here those are the last heard call signs that have come through uh, peanut so uh, once you've done that click save and uh, then you choose your room as you can see there are a lot of rooms and uh, as uh, David sorts the servers out at his end he will add more rooms to the system uh, he's currently uh, got XX, uh, XLX reflectors uh, XRF reflectors uh, Yesu system fusion reflectors and, uh, and many other rooms that are uh, set up for various languages uh, D star reflectors or DCS uh, reflectors are there and uh, as he adds to the system more and more will uh, be coming online so <coughs> this is an awesome piece of software it doesn't need any radio um, if you can't afford a digital radio I think it's uh, a great way to actually listen in on uh, on digital and uh, and uh, maybe talk to people that are using digital radios and get some information on what's the best thing to use uh, what sort of prices they can expect etc so uh, uh, we're going to go to the CQ UK room uh, a room I started uh, back in 2017 which is now run by Ernie GM7 KBK who uh, also provides all the links into the CQ UK room uh, and that's on 27246 HBL link or HBL server uh, 27246 so uh, we find that in the list and we click on that so uh, that's uh, that's where we are the category listings are uh, uh, country call signs uh, peanut only or peanut there's, a, there's also an echo uh, test facility on here so uh, you can if you're using this system it's always good to uh, uh, go into the uh, uh, the parrot uh, which basically uh, sends your audio back to you um, just can't find it for now it's, uh, as is typical when you're looking for something online um, but there is uh, I believe there's an echo there you go echo echo so that should uh, you should be able to use that and uh, test out whether the audio is good enough and uh, you don't want it too loud um, I have it so uh, the VU meter here when I'm transmitting peaks between 30 and 40 uh, you certainly don't want to be up to this top end um, and you don't want your microphone too close to your mouth uh, otherwise it will just uh, pick up all the uh, the fluffing and blowing from your breath as you speak so uh, yeah that's basically the setup it's quite easy uh, it's, a, it's got a scan system on it as well which is uh, very good uh, I have uh, uh, quite a few rooms three rooms set in here and I can set it to scan um, and it'll scan through all those rooms for activity and then move on to the next one it's uh, it's a time scan so uh, yeah you can put uh, six rooms in there and it'll scan all the rooms and then it'll stop on where there's activity and all you need to do then is uh, look at the name that's displayed and then change that room to that name so CQ Canada comes up just uh, look for CQ Canada in there and uh, or turn the scan off when it's on CQ Canada and uh, that's the room you'll hear alternatively uh, turn scan off and you can just go into a, a single room on its own but uh, it's easy to work out the features there uh, it's a very easy system to use uh, very enjoyable and uh, uh, I use it on when I'm mobile out in the car because I've got uh, uh, Bluetooth I use my mobile phone uh, to connect to the uh, car stereo system and, uh, and the phone picks up the audio from my voice uh, fairly well so uh, I can use uh, uh, this uh, peanut app on the mobile phone to actually connect to CU CQ UK and uh, and talk through it uh, into uh, the CQ UK room while I'm mobile. So, uh, uh, and that is more like radio because uh, I know a lot of people don't want to admit it, but a mobile phone is very similar to DMR, as it uses cell tower technology, 
and uh, obviously is using a frequency to connect to that cell tower so uh, you are indeed using a radio but uh, that's about it that's all you need to do uh, if you uh, then click on uh, oh I'll just point out another feature uh, if you click on uh, the last heard call signs um, it will automatically pick up or bring up the QRZ page for that call sign uh, so all the information is uh, immediately at hand to who you're speaking to or who you're listening to so uh, that's a very good feature and uh, that's about it um, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on peanut like I say it's a, a very well made program I think it's about uh, three and a quarter meg in size uh, so it'll fit on most computers laptops etc and uh, uh, and as I say it works on Android phones so uh, you can use your Android phone as a as a link to the CQ UK room or, or any room you wish that's on the uh, peanut system uh, my name is Stuart M0 sugar go sugar I'll, uh, I'll uh, put some links in the description to uh, David's website and uh, hope you enjoy uh, using peanut in the future this is M0 Sugar Gold Sugar. Best 73s and uh, take care.